We are on our way to the Civil Rights Museum today, located in Jackson, Mississippi. We're having a little fun. We're going to be doing a little traveling for you guys. And so we're going to uh, film the museum and show you guys a little bit around Jackson. All right. We made it. Okay, so we're here at the museum, you guys. It's a two-part museum. It was 12 bucks. Uh, we went with a group. This is our JSU group at our master's uh, program. And so we're gonna try and film for you guys today. Katie's a little shy today. Yeah, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Gary Waller, and this is Waller Life. My wife and I just recently went to the new uh, Jackson, Mississippi Civil Rights Museum. Now, it was an assignment for our school. Um, we're in grad school at JSU. The assignment was to do a reflection on the museum. It was uh, brand new, it had opened up. Even our President of the United States, Donald Trump, had even visited. This video is not to stir the pot or trigger anyone. This video was just our thoughts and our reflection and it meant so much to us that we wanted to make this video about it because it could bring awareness to the new Civil Rights Museum. It could bring awareness to the people of Mississippi and maybe they would want to uh, come to Jackson just to see it. It's a really great museum. It's only like six dollars to get in for admission and there's two parts to the museum. There's an actual Mississippi history and then there's the actual Civil Rights history. I have to say the emotions that came up during this uh, tour was astounding. There was a lot that was being learned for the very first time for me and my wife. We had known about, you know, the major leaders of the civil rights movement, but never studied or was taught all of the small intricate battles that had had to happen in order for the big battles to actually overcome what they needed to. Our instructor had given us a quote, Mr. George Santiana, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He says, those that forget their history are doomed to repeat it. This quote kept replaying itself into my mind while on this tour. It was a wonderful tour. The building is built beautifully, but I couldn't help but feeling guilt, um, shame, sadness. Um, it was all a bunch of emotions. I actually had to take a moment and collect myself. I wasn't guilty of being racist, or I have never been racist towards another race or another person in my life. But it was just, this was the history that I wasn't taught. Um, I think of myself as trying to give everyone an opportunity, and I don't care what color or what race or where you come from. It's, that doesn't bother me. I. Um, I didn't understand my emotions. Um, so this video was done two weeks ago and that's why I'm, I'm doing it now is I really wanted to think and collect my thoughts and to make sure that this, this video represents me and my wife as students just learning and to bring awareness to the museum. The museum has a great combination of architectural monuments and engagement activities and engagement materials that you as the guest can um, interact with. Very informative, multiple uh, different movies of different eras, a different time frame for each section, um, well thought out and it flows like a jazz guitar. Again, this video was designed for educational purposes. I didn't intend to trigger anyone or to bring any controversy to the topic I wanted to do this project correctly and I wanted to put this video out there to bring awareness to the museum to remembering the history and to making sure that we don't repeat it I believe George Santiano had a great point. And I have to thank my instructors for giving us this assignment and having us go to this museum. It was a wonderful experience that I'll never forget. I have to add, as a millennial, I never really understood the power of voting. 
During the civil rights movement, the power of voting was the yellow brick road for all cultures and all oppressed. Yes, even after bills and uh, certain things were passed, there was still segregation and oppression and racism, and it still goes on today with gangs and us between different countries as, as Americans. But at the same time, these are legislations that had to have been passed in order for better opportunities to come. I believe in voting more now since going to this museum because it was through the power of voting and the legislations that had passed that gave everyone that was oppressed and was slaved an opportunity for freedoms and education and equal rights. We have to continue to get better as a human race. Okay guys, so we've been walking around, we've been doing a lot of reading and stuff like that. We've been taking some pictures for you guys, but um, we're just coming to realize a lot of the history that we really didn't know about Mississippi and, you know, a, call it oblivious, call it uh, what you will, but it's a, it's a sad history and we're gonna try and turn this into something positive. Um, this is Mississippi's history and it's, <sighs> It's eye-opening. Um, yeah. And eventually, we should become all equal. This video may come off as sad or not as happy of a topic as my usual videos or my wife's usual videos. But I felt that this topic was very important. We felt that this topic was very important. And we wanted to put this out there. All right. We will see y'all in the next one. Go be awesome.